Good morning. I am starting a series today on 12 of Peter Levine's, who is the founder of Somatic Experiencing, 12 of his self-somatic techniques, and I'm going to be doing these every Wednesday. Uh, some of his techniques are actually quite long, so we're probably going to go beyond 12 videos. It might end up being maybe even closer to 20. So this is the start of that series. So the first one today that we're going to be working with is very simple. I love all of these because of how simple they are. So feel free to just do this along with me. Okay, so the first one we're starting with is just to take some of your fingers here, your right hand or your left hand, and just begin to tap into the palm of your hand. And as you're tapping into the palm of your hand, you can start to say something along the lines of, this is my hand, I can feel my hand, this is my hand. Now your words are of course gonna be better than mine or Peter's or anyone else's, so something around taking ownership of this part of your body. And then maybe stop for a moment and notice what the effect, what kind of effect that had on the palm of your hand. So what does that feel like? Do you notice tingling? Do you notice the numbness? Do you notice that you can feel that part of your body? Maybe some kind of pulsing. And then we'll just go ahead and do that on the top of the hand. Again, this is my hand. This is my hand. I can feel my hand. This is my boundary. This is my body. And really you're going at your own pace, your own speed. And this process that we're doing could really take up to a half an hour because we're gonna go through the whole body, but just take a moment and pause as you're saying that, right, this is my hand. Pause again, notice. Notice now maybe you can still sense the top and the bottom, maybe just the top. What does that feel like? Kind of track the sensation that's on the top of your hand if you have any right there. And then you'll go up to your arm and you'll do the same thing up here. This is my arm, I can feel my arm. You could use more than two fingers. You could use your four fingers or five, three. You might even work your way up your arm a little bit if that feels right for you. Stick to one area. And then you may do the underside as well. This is my arm. This is my arm and I can feel my arm. And then again, you'll pause and see what do you notice now for me I personally can feel a lot of a lot more sensation I can actually feel my arm right now in a way that I couldn't feel it before we started this you'll go up you'll go up to your shoulder up to your up here you may go up to your head your forehead the top of your head the back of your neck and you're just gonna go through your whole body doing this exercise for the sake of time this morning, I would go through the whole thing with us, but I have somebody at 12, so I have to keep it short. But you that's, that's the first layer. So the first layer is the tapping. This is my hand, this is my arm. And what we're starting to do is make a connection between these parts of the body. And so once you've gone through the whole body with that, you know, you may do your, your hips, your, your legs, one at a time, maybe two at a time, whatever's right for you. And then the second part of this exercise is at the muscle level. So the reason why this is a somatic exercise is because trauma has a way of really blurring the lines between the boundaries that we have, boundaries that we have with our own body, our ability to feel our boundary in our body, 
and our ability to have boundaries with other people, right? Because trauma is a boundary breach, whether it's psychological, sexual, emotional, mental. It's a either an outgoing, which is abandonment, neglect, or it's an incoming invasive violation. And so the reason that we do this is to start to make a relationship again with the body as a container. And I wanna stress that this next part that we're gonna go into, the squeezing, is that what we're doing is we're going deeper within the body. So we're starting at the skin level, right? This is our, this is our skin level boundary between us and the world. It's also the container for our emotions. And of course, right, when we're resolving trauma, we have these big emotions that come up. And sometimes it can feel like these emotions, fear, anger, grief, are so big that we don't know how to contain them or we're afraid to go into them because they've been so locked up for so long that it's almost like this wellspring that if we tap into, we, we might just be flooded with it. And so these are really foundational exercises that we can do to start to build up a container for ourselves so that when we go into these places, it's a lot easier for, oh yeah, right, I have this container here. And all these different parts of my body are also interconnected. And that also helps with trauma because trauma can be fragmenting. And so we are reconnecting the different uh, portions of our body with each other because in a way our body is sort of fragmented right into a hand. A hand does something very different than a shoulder, than our heart. And so we're beginning to build coherence within the actual body itself. So the next little piece here is squeezing. Now, when you do this at first, you might have to squeeze a little bit more firmly, right? Depends on how disconnected you are from the body. But this is my arm. Okay, we're gonna go back right back to that. This is my arm. I can feel my arm, really feel into the muscles, go into the muscle level. The muscles are a next layer of container for my emotions. Okay, then stop, track for a moment, notice what does that feel like? Is there heat? Is there pulsing? Is there tingling? Can you just notice your arm more? And then you're gonna go up here to your upper arm and your shoulder, okay? So squeezing your shoulder, this is my shoulder. This is my shoulder. I can feel my shoulder. I can feel my muscles. The muscles are the container for my emotions. And what we're gonna do here now is as you are squeezing up here in the shoulder and the upper arm, at your own pace, at your own strength of squeezing. Go ahead and notice if you can feel the connection now that we just made between this lower arm and your shoulder. Because you may still have, maybe, it might be numb, and this is gonna take a while for some people depending on what your, your current baseline is, but just see if you can notice Ah, yeah, there was that sensation that that really came alive in my lower arm and now it's coming alive up here as well, right? We're building that connection and you're just gonna do the same thing on the other side, right? That gentle squeezing, this is my arm. You can do it for your legs, for your belly, for your chest, just giving your body that feedback and like I said in the beginning, if you missed it, this could take up to 30 minutes to go all the way through just with the tapping and then again with the muscle level. And so next Wednesday, I'm gonna share with you the next piece of this, which is another form of a boundary exercise, um, but it's just a little bit different. So I would encourage you to practice this, try this out maybe a couple times this week, see what kind of an impact that has on how you interact and relate with other people, how you feel in your body, your capacity to be able to be with, 
different emotions or triggers that might come up because again, right, we're strengthening that container. And then, yeah, and then I'll see you next Wednesday for another version of this. Okay, be well and have a wonderful day.